In this video, we will be calculating annual net income after mandatory and voluntary deductions. Zach's gross pay is $6,450 per month. He has union dues of $45 per month, health benefits of $120 per month, and a work-related pension plan of $550 per month. What is Zach's annual net income after all deductions? First, Zach's annual gross pay will be calculated. In order to calculate the annual gross pay, multiply the monthly pay by 12 months. The monthly pay in this problem is $6,540. When you multiply $6,540 by 12, the result is $78,480. The next step is to calculate the mandatory deductions based on annual gross pay. For this problem, EI is calculated first. To calculate EI, multiply the gross pay by 1.88%. The annual pay was calculated to be $78,480. When you multiply 0.0188 by $78,480, you are left with $1,475.42. This is above the maximum contribution, so Zach will pay $913.68. Next, CPP will be calculated. To calculate CPP, first calculate the CPP income by subtracting the exemption from the gross income. The gross income in this problem is $78,480 and the exemption is $3,500. When you subtract these amounts, the result is $74,980. Now to find the CPP contribution, multiply the calculated CPP income by 4.95%. The CPP income was calculated to be $74,980. When you multiply 0 0.0495 by $74,980, you are left with $3,711.51. This is above the maximum contribution, so Zach will pay $2,425.50. Income tax will be calculated next in this problem. Zach's income falls into the second tax bracket, so his gross pay should be split according to the tax brackets. The first tax bracket is $43,561, and the second tax bracket amount will need to be calculated. To calculate the second tax bracket earnings, subtract the maximum first tax bracket earnings $43,561 from the annual pay of $78,480. This amounts to $34,919. To calculate the income tax, add together the first bracket tax and the second bracket tax. To calculate the first bracket tax, multiply the first bracket tax rate by the first bracket pay. To calculate the second bracket tax, multiply the second bracket tax rate by the second bracket pay. The first bracket tax rate is 25%. And the first bracket pay is $40,561. The second bracket tax rate is 32% and the second bracket pay is $34,919. When you multiply the tax rate by the pay of each bracket, the first bracket is $10,890.25 and the second bracket tax is $11,174.08. When you add these two amounts together, you are left with $22,004.33. Therefore, Zach would pay $22,064.33 in income tax. 
The next step is to calculate the annual voluntary deductions. The annual deductions for this problem are union dues, health benefits, and the work-related pension plan. To calculate Zach's annual net income, it is important to have all deductions in annual figures. To calculate annual union dues, multiply the monthly rate $45 by 12 months. This amounts to $540 per year. To calculate annual health benefits, multiply the monthly rate $120 by 12 months, which results in a rate of $1,440 per year. To calculate annual work pension, multiply the monthly rate $550 by 12 months. This results in a rate of $6,600 per year. You can now add up all of the voluntary deductions. The union dues of $540 plus the health benefits of $1,440 plus the work pension of $6,600 result in an annual voluntary deduction of $8,580. Next, you need to calculate the net income. To calculate the net income, the mandatory and voluntary deductions must be subtracted from the gross pay. To calculate the net income, the mandatory and voluntary deductions must be subtracted from the gross pay. To calculate the net income, subtract EI, CPP, income tax, and voluntary deductions from the gross pay. The gross pay was $78,480. Subtract from this the EI contribution $913.68, the CPP contribution $2,425.50, the income tax $22,064.33, and the voluntary deductions $8,580. This results in an answer of $44,496.49. Therefore, Zach's yearly net income is $44,496.49.